some students planned a picnic the total budget for food was rupees 2000 but five students failed to attend the picnic and thus the cost for food for each member increased by 20 rupees how many students attended the picnic and how much did each student pay for the food now see here let the number of students planned for the picnic like starting like let the number of students be let the number of students i'll consider as x and cost for each student like each student should pay let the amount each should pay pay b rupees y will consider as rupees y consider as rupees y for each should pay y rupees say. so now so according to the given condition the total budget for food was so here given condition was like here given condition the number of students x and each will pay y rupees the total amount will be like 2000 this is the equation 1 now but some students like five students left so five students left so now it now number of students is number of students will be like x minus 5 now each should pay 20 rupees more each student each student should pay to pay 20 more more than before 20 rupees more you can write 20 more so now each will pay how much like before they were paying y now they need to pay y plus 20 so now the condition will be so it will be like x minus 5 into y plus 20 equals 2000 because total amount for food was 2000 only as five students got they are not attending the picnic five students not attending so each should pay 20 rupees more now if we we'll multiply this x into y xy x into 20 20x minus 5y minus 5 into 20 100 equals 2000 now see in the first equation x into y value is here x into y is 2000 so i can cancel this x y and x 2000 because x into y value is 2000 so you are left with now 20x minus 5y minus 100 equals 0 now 20x if i we'll take 5 common so you will be left 4x minus y Minus twenty equals zero. So five will transpose to the other side. Four x minus y minus twenty equals zero. So four x minus twenty equals y. So this y value I'll substitute again in equation one. So in equation one, if I'll substitute, see here x into y is two thousand. So x into y value is four x minus twenty. Equals two thousand. X into four x four x square minus twenty x. If we we'll transpose two thousand minus two thousand equals zero. Now I'll take four common again. So x square minus five x minus four times five is twenty. Five hundred equals zero. So x square minus five x minus five hundred equals zero by four. Which is nothing but zero. So now, if I factorize, see here five hundred. Five hundred factors are twenty-five times twenty. So minus twenty-five x plus twenty x minus five hundred equals zero. So further, if we do factorization, so x square. If we take x common here, x minus twenty-five plus twenty. If we take common. X minus 
25 equals 0. So now here x minus 25 into x plus 20. x plus 20 equals 0. So x minus 25 equals 0. x minus 25 equals 0. x plus 20 equals 0. So x equals 25 x equals minus 20 so x is here 25 so negative number of students cannot be negative so in the starting 25 students attended so they are asking how many students attended the picnic see we need to tell like 5 students did not attend so x minus 25 sorry x minus 5 so 25 minus 5 20 students only attended the picnic 20 20 students attended the picnic and next they are asking how much did each student pay for the picnic so see first if you want you can find y by substituting in any one of the equation I will substitute here so y equals 4 into x x is 25 minus 20 y equals 100 minus 20 y equals 80 see here you should not leave it y because each student is paying 20 rupees more so y plus 20 that is 80 plus 20 that is nothing but 100 so each student pay for the full amount each student amount each student pay for the picnic pay for the food is 100 rupees so each should pay 100 rupees and only 20 students went for the picnic 